choice. We have a choice. Global warming is not inevitable. It is our choice whether it happens or not. We must decide now what we're going to do. We can't wait anymore. We've got to make that decision. And you in your life have to make this decision. What are, which are you going to choose? A future of greenhouse gases or a more brighter, cleaner, green future? Well, green building is the system of building with green products. This, uh, the word green can mean many things, but typically means earth-friendly, natural, sustainable, uh, things that have life cycle costs. Um, non-toxic, things like that are known as green. Green building is really a holistic approach. It's, it's not just a piecemeal approach. And you combine energy efficiency and, and, it's, and it's related to water use and it's related to healthy building materials and it's related to indoor air quality. Uh, a critical issue in Austin is also use of water for landscaping or you know we like to water our la lawns like, quite a bit. And when you think about that from, from, the, from square one, uh, and as a team with the builder and the architect working together, that's what green building is to me. That's really a, the process that, that can make it work. Well, greenhouse gases will be things um, like um, solvents. Uh, there'll be things like carbon dioxide, your biggest greenhouse gas. That's what makes the uh, environment more and more warm as it traps heat in and blocks uh, the radiation of um, the light. So that's, greenhouse gases are basically CO2. Well, the main one, of course, that everybody's heard about is CO2, carbon dioxide, um, and that is the major, in terms of volume, greenhouse gas, which is, of course, trapping the heat. Uh, On average, indoor air quality is far more polluted than outdoor air quality, no matter what city you live in. So each house has, usually has a car, a lawnmower, all those things put out greenhouse gases. Volatile organic compounds, compounds typically such as a solvent, gasolines, um, tolines, benzenes. These are um, petroleum-based uh, thinners and solvents. They're used commonly in paints, um, uh, different industrial chemicals and such um, that they put into um, that, that they keep things in solution. Like in a polyurethane, it'll have a very high VOC count. The higher the count, the more solvents. The solvents go in the atmosphere and help produce smog because they bind with other things in the atmosphere and they collect things and they don't come out. Some green things are no cost at all, right? Uh, healthy paints now don't cost anything more. Uh, uh, wood products that are formaldehyde free, insulation that's formaldehyde free, or now this, these things are no extra cost. So, the market really is rather agreeable um, now, especially now. Uh, green products have been on the market for quite a while, um, and these products, for instance, are very comparable to the more toxic VOC variety. Um, we're talking maybe in the range of two to three dollars more in many cases, and the importance of two or three dollars of prevention is worth a lot more when it comes to what cure later on down the road that might take. Well, bamboo flooring is a hardwood. Bamboo is just as hard, if not harder, than most hardwoods. And it only takes eight years for bamboo to grow to harvest. So there's plenty of bamboo out there where there's not plenty of hardwoods. Cork flooring is um, made from tree bark. A cork tree can give up its um, bark for 250 years. About every 25 years it will be harvested. Cork is, um, is, is the easiest floor to ever repair you can get. Uh, an incandescent light bulb is 90% heat and 10% light. Uh, with a CFL it's the other way around. You take 60 watts with an incandescent and you get the same amount of light for 15 watts. Double efficiency and half consumption with no sacrifice in comfort whatsoever and that's what a CFL does. You, reduce your energy use by 75 percent. Because your energy efficient home costs you less to operate, in the end you're paying less. You're paying a little bit more in your mortgage but a lot less in your energy bill. In 2007 the problem is abundance. The problem is affluence and we are using it up so fast that our impact on the planet is, is, is the planet can't take it anymore. Most of the disposable market is not inclined to be safe for man, plant, or animal and that's something we all need to think about. Reuse, recycle, you know, make the most of what we got. This, this, is a, this is an issue that we can't ignore. 
we, it has to be addressed. No doubt about it.